let's implement it. So in order to implement it, we start with modeling the chessboard. After that, we implement the base case. And after that, we implement the recursive case and we complete our solution. The first step is to model the chessboard. So if you look at this, right, we can model it using a two dimensional array. So for example, this situation, for the empty chessboard, I just get this a multiple by eight two dimensional arrays and all of the values is zero because I do not place any queen in here. So this is the first position. Now, if I want to add any queen, for example, if the queen in this position, zero, one, two, three, so this one, zero, three, so this is zero, three, this is uh, zero, one, so this is one, uh, six, for example. So I've changed that particular position or square to one. How can we implement it? So in this uh, one, I have the utility method to generate the empty chess ball, right? Chess game. And the game is a two dimensional array for each of the row and for each of the columns. Then I just, just what? Just assign it to zero. So this is the situation. And after that, so this is the one, I generate empty chess board and I just print the board. And after that, I just put a queen to some position, for example, zero three, right? Some position, and after that, I print the chessboard again. So let's test our system. Okay, we have two scenarios. The first one is the empty chessboard. Do not place any queen on it. And the second one is I place the queen into the position 0, 3. So the row is 0, the column is 3. This is how we model the chessboard. Our second step is to implement the base case. We have identified that the base case is when until row is zero. So it means that when until row is zero, I have, I will put queen in this position. This is one solution. This position, this is two solution and etc. It means that totally I have a solution. So in this situation, I have this, uh, this method, generate base case solution. I have a list of solution. Is element of the list is the chessboard, right? So again, the chessboard is our two dimensional array. This is the list of the solution. And now, we know that this solution is only row zero, right? So for each of the columns, so from the column zero to column one, two, three, etc., until column seven, then I add the queen. So for each of the column from zero to seven, now I generate the chessboard. And after that, I put the queen into this position, row zero and columns is column from zero to A. I put the queen and after that, I Consider, so I consider, for example, this, this scenario is one solution. So I put it in my solution list. And after that, I move the queen in here, another solution. So I put that into my solution list and etc. Finally, I have a solution. Okay. So let's uh, test our program, right? So we generate base case solution. We have a list of base case solution. And in here, I print all the list in here. Inside this print all, so for each of the board, I print out the solution and the board itself, the game board itself, and after that separate by this, uh, this line. Okay. So let's test our program again. So you see how many solution we have. We have a solution. I put the queen in the first, uh, position, second position, third position until the eighth position in here. Right? So this is our step two. So in the last step, we implement the recursion cases. Again, if the until row is seven, we ask the computer to generate the solution list for us until row six, so until row minus one. And after that, for each of the solution, we will place the queen to each of the position. If the queen can put to that position, this means that this is one of the final solution, right? And then we put that final solution to the list of final solution. And after that, we move on to the next possible solutions. So let's implement this method. So we have a public stated, uh, again, the return is a list of solution. Maybe generate solution until row, right? So until row, the input is until row. So again, for the base case, so if uh, until row is zero, it means that it's the base case. We return whatever the base case return us. Other than that, now this is recursive. The first step is what? We ask computer to get 
the solution until until row minus one. After that, for each of the sub solution, right, so get the sub solution, right? For each of the sub solution, we will try to put, right? So try to put the queen into the position. So the row is until row. Right? So the row is this until row. And the column, columns is from 0 to 7. We try to put the queen in here, 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 etc. So from row to, from 0 to 7. Now, if OK, then we generate a solution. So this solution is what? This solution is from the sub solution together with the queen putting in the new position. So we have the solution already. Now we what we add the solution to the list of solution. And because of that, before that we need to create create the list of solution. Okay, so let's see how it is implemented. So our first one. So I have the list of uh, the solution until now. So sub solution. Again, this one we know the computer will always able to help us. So sub solution equal to my generate solution recursive until row minus one. Okay, so again, we want to solve the whole problem. Ask the computer to solve the the problem until row minus one here. Now create a list of solution, right? So list of integer really solution equal to an empty list. Now for each of the solutions, so for each of the sub solution, so each of the sub solution until now, inside the sub solution list, what are we trying to do here? We check if we are able to put, right? So if we can put, we can put the queen into the square. So what is the square? The square is until the row is until row. Right? So the row is until row here. The column is what column? The column is from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So we need to have the loop of column. So for integer columns equal to 0, column less than a, column plus plus. So if we can put the screen to the rows into row, the columns is this one, this column, with the current into the current sub solution. Then what we do, if we can put the, the queen into the solution, it means that our, we have the whole solution here. So we can generate the solution again. So how to generate? Generate a solution from the sub solution. It means that I will duplicate the sub solution. So I have a new chessboard. So this is the, my solution, the new solution. This one is duplicate from sub solution. From sub solution. And after that, I put the queen into the new position. The position is until row columns. So this is to put the queen. And finally, I can add the solution to the list of final solution. So solutions list, add this new solution to the solution list. All right, so after the end of this for loop, I will have the final solution already. So I just return final solution. So now done. All right, so in here I have created the two helper method for me. Can put, check if the queen is uh, able to be put in this position in the columns and in the row. So let's see how the implementation of it. With the current sub solution, so we'll have the sub solution in here. The queen can put, so how to check it? So the first step is to check if there is any row that has another queen with the same column. So it's the one. We check if any row with the same column. We start with the row minus one, 
All right, so row minus one here, and minus one, minus one, minus one, etc. until row, the last one is row equal to zero. Right. And after that, we check if any queen in the same column, then no, we cannot put ready. First checking. The second checking is the checking of diagonal. Right. So for example, in here, what we check, we check the left diagonal. So this is the check of the left diagonal. How to check it? So I check this square. So the square is column minus one, right? And row also minus one. Right? So for example, seven here. So this one row is six, so row minus one, column minus one. This one, row minus two, column minus two, and etc. So I start from minus one and I check, 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 check until the last square is that either row is zero or columns is zero. So after that, I can stop checking already. My next checking is any queen in the right diagonal. Again, this one is row minus one. However, columns plus one, right? So I check row minus one, column plus one. So row minus one, column plus one. Again, row minus one, column plus one. Go to this one, this one, until either, right? Either, either what? Row is zero. This means that end of the row already, or, or what, or columns is A, right? So columns is seven, right? So seven is the last one. And if everything is fine, there's no other queen threaten this position, then we return true, which means that we can put the, the queen in this position already. So this is what can put method do. Another method we use is WK, right? So WK. WK mean that I have a current chess game, so anything. Right? This one or this one. So this is the car, the current chess game. I just duplicate it, it means that I create another array, 2D array, so another chess game with the same size, the same length, and the same the same length and the same width, right? So A and A. And finally, for each of the, the old rows and old columns, I just copy it to the new row and the new columns. In short, if I have this uh, chess game, I just duplicate, create the same chess game in order to get the new one. Right? And from the new one, put any other queen, anything into the new position already. So with that, we're done, right? We've done our uh, one. We model the chessboard to implement the base case. And finally, we have implemented the recursive cases. And with that, let's uh, test our program. So in here, the final program is list integer, integer of the solution. So final solution will be generate solution. What is the until row? Right. Until row, final position means that the until row seven. Right. And after that, I can bring all the solution already. Let's run it. So we have 92 solutions. So our recursion method working. You see, so let's see that for example, solution one, I put, we put the queen in this first position. The others, the next one is this position. You see this one does not threaten anything. You look at here, all zero here, all right? Now the second one, look at here, all zero in the other position and etc. So this is one solution. This is two solution, etc. okay? So you can see how amazing is it, right? We, we, we know that computer solve this problem for us automatically. We just try to solve the whole problem and find the base case and we prove that we can do this two step and recursion taken care for us already. So that's the beauty of recursion.